Well, my first impression is that I'm seeing a lot of very, very enthusiastic students from all over the year, all over the world. And I try to talk to some of them, and of course they're not interested in talking to me at all because they're too busy fixing things and making things. Just the level of enthusiasm and the level of, uh, of, sort of dedication to the project is overwhelming. And we're very lucky because we're here at Silverstone, which is terrific the home of motorsport in the UK and it's a beautiful day and it's just a really good atmosphere, really good vibe, everyone's getting on with their stuff, everyone's working very hard. Um, yeah, it's great. You know, I think it's good for students, well, to be in a working environment, they get to meet the manufacturers, they get to meet people who are already in, involved in the industry, not just in motorsport but in wider engineering circles as well. So rather than being just sort of locked away in a university, doing their own thing in isolation. They get to actually experience what it's like in the outside world. They get to experience um, and meet some of the companies who are involved in motorsport and engineering. So, you know, and it's great for those people as well, for the companies as well, because they get to meet the, the, the engineers of the future and get to see kind of what the standard's like. And uh, so it's good both ways. In order to promote engineering, I mean, something like Formula One is a great uh, example because everyone loves Formula One. Uh, and you know that's a lot of our the, the heartland of our engineering comes from Formula One, so that's a very good advert for engineers. I don't know. I think you know certainly STEM subjects at school, so science and technology and, and, and mathematics. It's, it's going through a sort of difficult period. I think when kids get to a certain age, around in the sort of early teens, they tend to not want to do STEM subjects. Uh, for the, and I think there's a whole variety of cultural reasons and different cultural cues why that is the case. But I don't know. I mean, I see it changing. And certainly the kids I see who are involved in projects like this are just so fanatically passionate about it. And I'm certainly, in the last few years, the last five ten years I'm seeing more and more women in engineering which I think is a vitally important thing I think that's changing um, but obviously you're right there's still a big shortfall we need more engineers not just because as we hurtle through the 21st century we're coming up with all kinds of problems that we need engineers and scientists for but also just because I think it's it's a it's a wonderfully fulfilling subject and fulfilling area to be involved in it's 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 interesting it's creative it takes discipline all these things and I think um, you know there are wonderful fulfilling careers if people could just see them. Why do science? Because science you know part of what makes us human beings is a curiosity about the world. You know we are naturally curious creatures human beings and science is the the way that we examine the world. It's the kind of lens that we look through that um, helps us make sense of what's going on. We like to ask questions and science is the language we use to explain the world around us. And there's great poetry in science and engineering as well. I think there is this mistake that people think that science is all about right answers and facts and it's not. It's about embracing uncertainty, embracing things that we don't know and trying to answer them. Science and engineering are the, are the the, the ways that we move, move through that and try and make sense of things and uh, there is great creativity in, in science and engineering and I think that's uh, I think people don't understand that people they don't see that it's the question I get asked all the time I think why why do people get turned off science and engineering subjects at school what is the reason I don't know I think there's a there's a tendency particularly at school not to step back and look at the big picture I think when we step back and look at science as a whole what actually science is um, then people, I think, would be much more inclined to be excited by it because science is the language that makes sense of the world around us and beyond. Engineering, these are the, the ways that we're going to solve the problems of the future as we go through the 21st century. And right now we're in the middle of this digital revolution, so ideas are shared at the speed of light, so everything is accelerated as well. We need engineers, we need scientists in Britain if we want to if we want to stay ahead, if we want to be competitive, because these are the, the subjects that are going to get us out of the problems we're going to be facing, apart from anything else. And also, it's just fun, it's exciting, it's creative, it's a, it's, um, it, it's a wonderful thing to study, whatever your discipline is. And Science and engineering covers su such a broad area, there's, there's something for everyone in it.